Hey everyone, it's Anson here from Weekend Garage. Today I'll be showing you guys how to program your gas tank size after you have replaced it on your RAM. If you guys upgraded the tank size, this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to program the distance to empty and also the tank size on this quick and easy tutorial. What you're gonna need is a OBD reader from us, a security bypass cable, and also the license itself. It's all on our website at weekendgarage.com. So let's get started with the tutorial. All right, so first off, the demo vehicle is a 2020 Rebel. So I'm gonna show you guys how to connect it for this model. For 1500s, it's all the same after 2019. So we're gonna grab our OBD reader and the security gateway module is already connected. If you guys are not sure how to connect that, you can check our other videos. So we're gonna grab our OBD reader and just plug it into our bypass. The, the bypass cable is actually really easy to plug in as well. You just reach under, and you pull off two plugs, and you plug it into our bypass cable. So for the 2500s and 3500 heavy-duty trucks, the bypass is behind the gauge cluster. So now that we have our OBD reader plugged in, you're going to see a light. Make sure your ignition is on run, so your gauge and everything turns on, and your body computer is ready for programming. Then I'm going to open up my phone and show you guys a recording here so you guys can see in detail on how this is done. All right, so now that we have our OBD reader plugged in, we're gonna grab our Android phone. Assuming you have already installed the Alpha OBD program in there, we're gonna go in settings, and then we're gonna go in Bluetooth right here. Then we're gonna go on available devices down in the bottom. And you're gonna see Weekend Garage populate right there. So we're gonna click on Weekend Garage. It's gonna ask for a pin. It's one, two, three, four, nice and simple. Then you're gonna see it being paired up top. I have a couple because I have a lot of readers laying around. So after that, we're gonna go in Alpha OBD and then click on the Bluetooth top left just to pair it. So it's the first one on my phone. All right, so on the screen, you're going to see that it's now connected to Weekend Garage. Now it's ready for programming. So we're going to go ahead and look for our vehicle. It's a Dodge Ram, select car model. This is going to be a DT Ram 1500 right here. Select function, we're going to scroll down until we find body computer. Select control unit, select your year in there. So now that's connected, we're going to go on the bottom of the page and look for the photo with the car hood to open. Click on that. Select procedure to start. We're going to scroll all the way down until you see car configuration change. But if this is your first time programming the truck, make sure you hit backup vehicle configuration to file before making any changes, just in case. So after you've done that, we're going to go on car configuration change, select option. All right, so we're going to search fuel. And after that, you're going to see the first one, fuel capacity. You can enter the value for what size tank you have installed in this vehicle right here. Enter value. So whatever tank size, just enter it here and click start. That will complete the configuration change for this vehicle. So you can go from 36 liters to 290 liters, depending on what size you've changed. And then after that, we're going to go, go on cluster fuel tank. Calibration one till empty. You can select a value there from whichever percent. So whichever percent you set it at will trigger the distance to empty, which means your gas light will come on when it hits that percentage right here. I'm not going to change mine because I like it at whatever it's set at, but you can play around with that. Also with the calibration fuel tank you can set how much to set when it's full like if it's 91 percent full or 98 what to show on the dash so these are the three things you can set for this vehicle when you are making your change to the gas tank size it's that simple all right everyone so that's how you program the gas tank size and the calibration for distance to empty for the round trucks let me know if you guys got any questions you can leave them down in the comments below and i'll see you guys on the next one